morning guys it is uh opening week in utah for sheds so came down gonna try a desert spot today just hit it for a day see what we can pull out of here looks like there has been a few people come through um, a couple boot tracks right here off the trail but we're gonna go pretty deep make a full day out of it so let's go see what we can find opening week in utah Getting in here, there's there's a lot of sign. Um, about a couple miles in on my hike, still pretty cool little cloud cover, but it's getting getting bright soon. I'm seeing a lot of elk sign. See a bull track right there. I'm seeing old sign. I'm seeing new sign. So there's still elk in the area, but um, some of the tracks do look perfect. Check it out. That might be the first brown of the year. Fresh elk track there in the cactus. Nice. Oh yeah. Look at that. I wonder if he's, if he got flipped over because he's, his tines kind of have some red dirt on them. Like he was almost laying tines down. There's a fresh elk track right here. Oh, there's the other side right there. Laying kind of under this log. Way sweet. Look at that. They're already, I mean, it's May. They're getting a little bleached out, you could tell, but brown's from this year. Do a little pickup video just for the sake of these being the first browns of the year. And talk about a goofy set. Holy cow. Almost looks like two different bulls, but you could see those unique thirds that grow right by the royals. And then the royals are almost the same length. Back end's kind of squiggly. And uh, the G1s, the first points and the bases are actually really similar too. Way sweet. Nothing giant, but a good brown set to start off uh, the year. I'm just gonna stash these here. I don't really wanna pack antlers around as I go through all this country. I'm, I'm kinda early in my hike, so I could just hike out, hit a lot of this other stuff, and then come back and grab antlers. Continuing down on this bench, and what do we have here? Look at that. Right side, left side. Whites, hard whites. Almost, it's like a five point over there. Six point. And that's a five. That almost looks like two different bulls. Kind of a game trail here. You can see the bull tracks going out that way. That looks like two different bulls though. Oh yeah, hard white from last year. Cool whale tail five point. Heavy, pretty dense antler. Got this one here, five point. And then that's, yeah, those are two different bulls. Just shed on this same bench here, hard whites. So this is the five point I just grabbed. Not a giant, but a cool look to him. Nice bull. Here's this pretty six point. Check that out. I love those fronts. Big, big royal. This one almost is a little bit more worn than that one, making me wonder if it's two years old. Just a little bit more chalky on this side that the sun was hitting. Good start, four antlers on the day, and there is some fresh bull tracks around here. So I'm gonna follow that bull trail out to this point and see if there's anything out there. Do some glassing maybe. Following those elk tracks around and it led me to the brownie right there. Laying tines up, just a little guy, but that's probably his track right there from when he shed if I had to guess. That one or this one. 
round number three. Cool little base. Yeah, just a little raghorn shed, but still fun to pick up. I'm gonna stash these antlers together, hike this one back over to the pile. And then, like I say, get over on this point, maybe do some glassing. And then on my way back, I can always come grab these. down in this valley uh, there's like a lower bench over here and I can see a confirmed white and then there's something small that that looks like a, a, a brown antler it's gonna be a little bit of a push dropping 500 feet in elevation but I mean we got an, a confirmed antler and maybe that'll lead us to some more we're gonna drop off of here and go grab these bull tracks everywhere edge of the clearing is like right here where that one was I glassed up yeah there it is it's like a hard white nice bull right there in the cactus last year's I'm guessing yeah he's still brown on this side the other one should be up here a little bit more if it is one there it is if it looks like a shed, if it glows like a shed, usually it's a shed. A little brownie, another another small brown raghorn. Makes you wonder like which tracks are from him. Like, are we looking at this age of track here or are we looking at this age of track? These ones, are, that one looks a little too fresh to be his. But right, right next to this little rub, that's pretty neat. Oh man, what a day, what a day. A little brown, can't complain with those though. Coming up out of this, out of this steep draw and I just walked onto something pretty dang cool. Look at that, side by side, big brown set. elk trail it looks like coming down on this north slope off of this bench oh yeah dumped them right on the trail look at that big game trail going down right through there off this bench side by side set that is a freaking sweet bowl take the pack off and get a pickup of this this nice guy heck yeah Freaking sweet bowl. Ugh. Big old, pretty symmetrical six pointer. Epic, epic day. One thing I like doing with these XO packs is bringing the meat straps. There's two meat straps, one on the top and bottom that attach to your frame and uh, use those when I'm shed hunting for extra support because you have your two back straps. And those are good for like a base layer. But then if I get more antlers, which I already have more antlers in that pile, I'll put these meat straps around them. And you could really cinch down antler with those to keep them tight. Well, the bench keeps producing. Follow elk tracks and find antlers. Check that out on this cactus. He's super bleached out. I don't know if that bull is a resident bull out in this desert or if he just happened to shed super early by accident, but that's a bleached out brown. The 
pick it up without getting a thorn. Bloody. That's weird. You would think this bull would have shed a week or two ago, but he's so bleached out already, but that's brown. You can tell. Just a goofy, goofy bull. Well, <laughs> antlers are stacking up quick on this bench. I keep calling it a bench, but it's more like a mesa top. I put eight miles down getting out here and then a couple miles on my own while I've been hitting this. But I think it's time to go back towards my other stash and then hit this other ridge line going out and just see if some bulls have been on that one. Well, back where it all began. Stash is still here. Man, that's gonna be a freaking haul. Brand new K4 XO 5000 bag. It's been working great. I've had some epic trips this year. Almost to the top of this ridge line that I've been walking. <laughs> Looks like a hard white laying here. Laying up on this slick rock kind of knob. It's pretty neat. Nothing giant, but oh, another hard white. So last year and this year, Looks like they were in here, which is interesting because this year was such a high snow year. But looks like they're just using this no matter what. I think I counted 13 antlers. But we're back. I can see the road from here. And I could stash the antlers and go grab the four-wheeler. So I'm a little bit I'm a little bit down canyon from it, but we made it. Look at that freaking haul. Gosh. Peak sissy stakes, man. Goes a long ways when you're carrying heavy loads like that. What a day. Utah opening week. That's probably gonna be the end of the video, so I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't, download my Elk Shed ebook. I talk about desert country, uh, mountain country, all the stuff I've hit around Utah and similar terrain to put you guys in the best spot to find elk sheds uh, when you go out. So download that ebook right here. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, that's what gets me out here to be able to do all of this. So I really appreciate that. And hopefully we have a couple more shed hunts. Um, it is getting into May now. So temperatures are going to rise as the weeks go on but we'll still try to get out and uh, get some more shed action so catch you on the next video